Nardo here showing the new CS2 update that features the new nuke that is replacing Mirage in the beta. I'll be going through the main points from the release notes. Let's get into it. The first update we are going to look at is this casual game mode and you could either play nuke or office. It is random and it is unranked. So with the casual game mode, it is a 10v10 mode. When you join a casual game, the game could have started already and it is first to eight and there are no ties. Although casual mode has no halftime, players are free to switch sides during the game provided that there is room on the opposite team. Besides the casual game mode being added, you can now also play nuke in office in deathmatch. However, nuke can only be played in competitive game modes, not office. There was an update with the shooting where there was previously rare cases where bullets would not follow the spray pattern. This is a clip from Holmes showing that this was the bug before the current update. Before I show you more updates, here's a quick word from the sponsor. Use promo code NART and you're going to get a free 50 cents and a 10% deposit bonus. There is a lot of updates for the audio and audio has always been tricky to showcase. So for now, we'll just have to trust Valve and wait for three clicks Phillips to give us a detailed breakdown. And I'm going to cover the last two highlighted points here. CS2 added some new music to the match except as well as the loading screens. So let's take a listen. CS2 also added this unique audio occlusion layer to help with the vertical sound positioning in Nuke. This got added so teams can no longer pull a G2 as seen done here by Imperial. The plant and maybe one chance to do this one. They actually thought, I think that they're going A. They're going A. Oh no, Anders. This round is done. I think they've lost this round already. Grenades can oh. now be inspected in CS2. Oh. Does that mean that we are going to be getting CS2 grenade skins in the future? Here we see Rops having a little bit of fun with that. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. It's a family show. Uh, it's Next up, we have the improved health shot animations that you would find in Deathmatch as well as Danger Zone. Some weapon animations got fixed in terms of their inspect behavior, such as the Huntsman knife. So this bug will no longer happen. Previously with movement, when you crouch and uncrouch, it would be super slow. But here with the new update, it feels a lot better. The devs have been working on the movement religiously, making the movement try to feel as close as CSGO as we see with bunny hopping here. This Convar SV jump spam penalty time was added and basically what this does or what it means is that it defines the maximum allowed time between landing and jumping again for it to still keep momentum also known as bunny hopping. Because the current defaults is not good. CL show pause now includes velocity. Previously in CSGO, there was no line that had velocity. So what can you use this for? Well, you could use this for to check the wall strafes. What do you guys think about this update? Let me know down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe as I'll be putting out more new content and CS2 as well.